so dear children here we are with the new the first chapter in fact nutrition in plants what do you understand by nutrition or rather nutrient in standard 6 we have studied about nutrients that we require nutrients to carry out the life process and now tell me what is life processes what is life process just think what is life process life process is a process that living organism carry out during their lifetime life to live just like life process like i am breathing i am taking in oxygen i am giving out carbon dioxide i am eating food and i am digesting it this is life process when we talk about food food why do we eat food food is the fuel for our body very much simple thing and very easy even the small child can understand that food if we will not eat food we will fall ill if we will not taking balanced food we may not be a healthy person so uh, here when we talk about food food has different kinds of nutrients in it like carbohydrates proteins minerals fats and other vitamins all these are required to carry out the life process and when nutrients are taken in it is nutrition got it so here we are talking about nutrition in plants when we talk about nutrition in plant we are when we eat food it is nutrient when we are having carbohydrates vitamins uh, um, minerals it is for our body but what about plant plant also plant is also living organism plant is also living organism so it also requires nutrients so how does it take the nutrients it takes the nutrients from the environment like where it grows how does it make its food how does it take the nutrients plants are green plants are uh, now there there may be a different modes of nutrition in plants that is autotrophs and heterotrophs auto auto means automatic that it can do it of your own of its own and heterotrophs when it depends on other for the fulfillment of its food requirement now here plant is autotroph means it makes its own food own food how does it make it doesn't go to the kitchen and cook the food it doesn't ask for the uh, rice or the uh, wheat because rice and wheat itself is derived from the plants when we talk of nutrients auto autotrophic uh, mode of nutrition in plant we are talking about photosynthesis what is photosynthesis and from where it is derived photosynthesis is a photo is a greek word which means light synthesis means to make so photosynthesis is making food with the help of light in the presence of light and here the light is sun we know that sun is the ultimate source of energy we all living thing directly or indirectly depend on the sun's energy so how does photosynthesis happens we have studied uh, maybe in uh, perhaps in standard 5 and uh, standard 6 what pho- photosynthesis is green plants makes its food in the presence of sunlight green plants green plants mean green leaves even the stem when the stem is green it has chlorophyll in it chlorophyll is a green pigment which helps in making food 
means plant in photosynthesis plant makes food in the presence of carbon dioxide water sunlight and chlorophyll and yields produces carbohydrate and oxygen lots of lots of oxygen and that's why we always talk about afforestation because uh, oxygen is very important for us and in fact uh, because of the plant we live because it gives oxygen and we take in oxygen it gives out oxygen and we take in oxygen in this way balance in nature is maintained fine so when we talk of photosynthesis it has one equation that uh, equation is like uh, carbon dioxide uh, the carbon dioxide reacts with water in presence of chlorophyll and sunlight and produces glucose and oxygen this is the equation of the photosynthesis okay now let's move to the heterotrophic mode of nutrition in plant heterotrophic nutrition what does it mean hetero it means it it uh, essentially tells about that it cannot make food of its own there are plants which depends on the other plant because it doesn't it doesn't uh, uh, get all the nutrients that is required in order to survive so it depends on the other mode of nutrition that is heterotrophic nutrition we will discuss this later on right now we shall discuss that food making process that is photosynthesis so in photosynthesis raw material for the uh, photosynthesis are raw material means what is required to bring out the main product to uh, just uh, just for an example i would say that uh, if we are uh, Mm, wearing a uh, cloth when we are wearing a cloth the raw material for this cloth may be cotton maybe nylon man made uh, fabric maybe uh, wool so these are raw material of which cloth is made and the product is cloth raw material is like dye uh, fabric Uh, the process of making it these are uh, raw material and what we get in the end that is our clothing similarly when photosynthesis is uh, photosynthesis process we talk about when we talk about photosynthesis process we talk about raw material what is required for the photosynthesis raw material so here the raw material is carbon dioxide from where does it come the environment has uh, plenty of carbon dioxide it is uh, uh, point point uh, zero, uh, 03% 02 uh, point 02% uh, carbon dioxide is present in the environment and more and more carbon uh, carbon dioxide is also a greenhouse gas you all know and greenhouse because of the increase in greenhouse uh, gases uh, there is global warming we will discuss it later on so carbon dioxide from where does it come you know it's nowadays because of this covid 19 the air is uh, cleaner why it is cleaner because uh, vehicles are not moving factories are uh, not working uh, people are not uh, moving on their uh, here and there so there is less amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and that is good for environment of course nothing to bother we will meet soon enough uh, and things will be okay now try to understand try to find out think over how these raw materials like water and minerals carbon dioxide is absorbed by the plant have you ever thought about it how it is being 
absorbed so water and minerals are absorbed from the soil and this water and mineral has to be circulated has to be transferred from uh, transferred to each and every part of the plant so there must be some channels some ways from where through which water and minerals are being transferred from the roots to the different parts of the plant so what are these channels these channels are tube like structure that these are tubes called vessels in the uh, next chapter or the other chapter we will study more about different kinds of vessels soil and min uh, water and mineral is being transferred by these vessels so how uh, this uh, carbon dioxide or uh, oxygen the ga exchange of gases how does it happen the exchange of gases it happens through the stomata present in the leaves stomata is tiny pores where transpiration also takes place you must have studied in standard 5 what transpiration is transpiration is when excess of water is being released in the environment uh to protect the plant so up till now we have studied nutrition nutrients modes of nutrition mode of, modes of nutrition means two autotrophic and heterotrophic and photosynthesis raw material for the photosynthesis and the now we are going to study product of photosynthesis product of photosynthesis are uh, glucose and oxygen the first product of uh, uh, photosynthesis is carbohydrate that is glucose glucose then converts into starch and we know that carbohydrate has carbon hydrogen and oxygen beside these three there is protein also protein means nitrogen one part is nitrogen is also there in the protein now how uh, protein uh, okay uh, carbon dioxide is taken from the environment but nitrogen that is abundance in the nature that is 78% is it, it is uh, nitrogen in our atmosphere how it is being used it is not directly taken up by the plants just like uh, uh, we uh, do not eat raw um, raw crops we do not we need to cook the in order to make the food edible we cook it similarly nitrogen is converted into nitrogenous compound so that it is useful it can be taken up by the plants so these are the by products these are the products of the photosynthesis thank you for today this is up now tomorrow we will take up the next part of the chapter that is uh, other modes of nutrition in plant thank you